and today guys we will see about radar radar is an electronic system for radio location or the detection of objects by radio waves the radio location of an object is defined by three parameters which are distance azimuth angle and height of the object this was invented by Appleton and Barnett as early as 1926 and it was first used in World War II to detect enemy aircraft. So, the method which is used in radar is very simple. That distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. दूरी बराबर चाल गुना समय. Suppose a pulse train is transmitted by an radar antenna. It travels the space in all directions. and whenever it finds an object it strikes back and reflects back to the radar antenna it is picked up by picked up by the radar antenna and measures the time of going and coming back to the shore the time travelled by the medium waves is equal to two times Because it took double distance to travel, so in order to calculate the distance of the object, we can find out it by the formula range R is equal to speed into t by two, because t is the time for the distance. twice of the object distance so c is the velocity of radio wave or the light which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second putting this value and we can calculate the range in kilometers by 0.15 tr or nautical miles 0.81 0.081 times tr so this is the simple fundamentals of radar by de- for detecting and ranging the objects second thing is that in what range of frequency radar operates so there is not a limit of the frequency for radar it uses a very huge range of frequency it operates in the range of 220 megahertz to 35 gigahertz there is a lot of range of frequency for radar in hf band for example ground wave propagation HF radar might be operated at frequency as low as 2 megahertz sky wave hf over the horizon radar operates at 5 to 20 megahertz while at the other end of the spectrum millimeter radars are operated at 94 and 140 gigahertz and laser radars or lidar operates at much higher frequency in the optical region so these are designated by the bands for convenience like led radar operates in high frequency band very high frequency band vhf range is 30 to 300 megahertz and vhf radar band is 138 to 144 megahertz and 216 to 225 megahertz in uhf range 420 to 450 megahertz 890 to 940 megahertz 
in L band 1215 to 1400 megahertz S band 2300 to 2500 megahertz and 2.7 to 3.7 gigahertz C band 5.25 to 5.925 mega gigahertz X band 8.5 to 10.6 gigahertz KU band 13.4 to 14 gigahertz K band 24.05 to 24.25 gigahertz K above band 33.4 to 36.0 gigahertz and millimeter band which includes Q U V E W F D and G bands so a wide range is used for radar operation so now we will see the set of radar system or block diagram so this is the block diagram of radar system which is used the upper section is transmitting section known as transmitter and the lower section is known as receiver section in the transmitter section it uses a pulse modulator which feeds to the transmitter to generate a high frequency pulsed signal so that it can be transmitted through an antenna but here we are using one antenna for transmission as well as for reception so that purpose we require duplexer or switch for transmitting and receiving by the same device or antenna so upper section is clear that pulse modulator is uh, driving the transmitter which might be which may be a oscillator of magnetrons that is a microwave transmitter and for selecting the transmission or reception a duplexer is used antenna radiates the signal and receives the reflected signals back by the same antenna and duplexer decides where to send it so this goes to the lower section of receiver circuit and feeds to the low noise rf amplifier this receiver is a super heterodyne type receiver to reduce the noise contribution of the mixer its first stage is called the front end and might be a low noise rf amplifier like a parametric amplifier or low noise transistor amplifier which follows a mixer which is a balanced type of mixer low noise field effect trans transistors made from gallium arsenide are being used as gaas fet preamplifiers then comes the if amplifier if amplifier amplifies the mixed output at the intermediate frequency without producing appreciable distortions in the pulse wave form of the if signal then goes to the second detector uh well the center frequency of a typical if amplifier is in the range of 30 to 60 megahertz while the bandwidth of the order of 1 megahertz so detector the envelope of an if signal is extracted by an envelope detector a diode detector may be used for the purpose but since the shape of the pulse envelope is important to reduce distortion in the pulse wave form the detector load is frequency compensated by induction inductances using the shunt peaking and series peaking techniques as employed in video detectors of tv systems then it goes to the video amplifier in this stage the detected echo signal is amplified to a level where it can be properly displayed on a crt screen 
Here also the waveform distortion is minimized by video compensation techniques. Then the display. Simplest form of display is called the I slope where the echo amplitude produces a deflection on the electron beam in the CRO in the y direction. The A scope is a deflection modulated display and it is more suited to trick radar applications. And now the application of radar or radar uses. The basic use was military use but later on it started using in civil aviation for marine or sea navigation and air navigation for aircrafts and air buses. The same is ATC air traffic control and remote sensing. Remote sensing is for identifying remote objects like planets, earth, moon and many more things which is far from us and we want to detect and know about them so remote sensing is another application so this is brief about radar system and we will continue the navigation section in next video till then please subscribe like and press the bell icon to get notified for the new videos immediately please do like and subscribe. Thank you.